All right, so here's a quick tutorial on how to use Team Builder. Um, I'm going to be using this from the actual app, all right, from the App Store. I downloaded this. I, I had this. I have my own account. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go ahead and start from the beginning. So when I click the icon, it should pop up. All right, so we'll just go ahead and walk through everything. So the Team Feed is going to be where I can kind of give everyone messages, um, if there's any information I want to convey, um, you're going to be able to find that here. Um, you can also post comments yourself as, as you're going through. So uh, feel free to, to, populate, to put these things up and I'll answer questions as we kind of go on. Um, build a little bit of community through this. Um, the leaderboard, uh, this basically ranks all your exercises. So as we continue to do things, you can see who did the most push-ups out of everyone that's involved. Uh, Bodyweight squats, so on and so on. Um, the one that we need to worry about right now is the workout tab. Um, this is my workout for today. Um, notice it's kind of listed in, in list form here. Um, and it's really simple to use. It's pretty self-explanatory. But if you look at the top, the first one is the, the little fire icon. That means it's a warm-up. All right, so that's the easy strength warm-up. So if I go ahead and I click the eyeball here, um, it lists the warm-up that I'm going to have for the day. Uh, I just follow it. I don't have to enter any data. I, ju I just follow the warm-up, and I, I hit X to exit out when I'm done. Um, and then as we go down the list, we'll look at next one, which is going to be barbell deadlifts. If you see underneath, it says uh, two, set, two by five. That means two sets of five. If we click in the pencil, you can see I already kind of inserted some data. Um, if we just kind of take a, take a look at, at what's right here, uh, the top is going to be your max. Um, if you're using anything weighted, it's going to project a max based off how many reps you do. Um, if you do push-ups or bodyweight squats, it, it may keep uh, the highest reps that you've performed. So it could be 50 push-ups, could be 10 push-ups, but it just kind of keeps it up there as a max. If you look at our next icon, which is the little camera, um, any exercise that has a camera is a, a video description of how to perform the exercise or what it should look like. So we can go ahead and hit that. So as we continue to, to go through the program here, I'll, I'll continuously be updating the actual exercises so we, we know how those work. Um, again, this will be a little bit of a process, but we'll get that done. It should be updating as, as we go through. Um, if we look at the little green, green clock over here, when we click on the clock, this is gonna be your history. All right, so on uh, today when I, when I wrote some, when I put these exercises in, it tracked it. On Monday when I did the exercise, it tracked it. Um, and you can kind of just go through, and this will just keep a running tab of your progress so you can kind of see what you've been doing. On the bottom left corner, you're gonna see this orange triangle. This is gonna be the opt-out, okay? So the only time that we need to do the opt-out is if you may not have equipment or um, you have an injury or anything that, that's gonna prohibit you from doing the exercise. They're gonna ask you for a reason, so you gotta need to pick it. It's a little sliding scale. Um, and then they're gonna ask you if you wanna select another exercise. So based off Similar exercises, um, you can pick those uh, or just substitute in one that you'd much you'd rather do. All right, and then when we're done, we just hit X to get out of there and pull it up. Now, <clears throat> again, going on to the next exercise, all right, our Zerker squat. I would type my data in. Let's just type in 135, 135, and then when I'm done, I'm just going to go ahead and save. All right, you see it checks and it saves it. All right, the same thing. You can either slide it to the right or you can exit out and just go on to your next exercise, okay? So again, it, it's pretty simple. You really can't make any mistakes, any changes. If you put a wrong weight in or add something up or, or miss something, it's, it's not gonna be the end of the world. You're, you're gonna wanna go ahead and correct it if you can, just save an ac accurate record. But again, it, it's not gonna be the end of the world. Um, as we're going through these, if there's a body weight exercise that's asking for weight, um, you can just put one in or you can just skip it um, or just leave it blank. It's really up to you. So again, that, that's kind of how the, the workout tab works. Messaging. Again, I'm going to use this app to communicate with everybody. So, you know, you can see some messages that I've posted in the last, a couple days ago. Um, so I'll just continue to, to update that and 
you can, and this is kind of a two-way street, so if you need to send me a message, you are able to send a message through here as well by clicking the little tab icon at the top. Um, pick who I want, Brian Bingaman, next. And then go ahead, you can go ahead and write me a message um, if you have any questions about anything, and, and I'll continue to be looking at it, updating it. On the More tab, um, you just basically have a lot of settings. Um, if you need to change your password or change your email, you can go ahead and do that. You can put a profile picture in if you want to connect it to Google, so you can do a Google sign-on. Um, it's really up to you. This is going to track all our Maxes on here as well. Um, this is just this is new for me, so I haven't really I don't really have any any Maxes, uh, but you can see some of this stuff is written up here. But this is kind of a running record. Um, when you get to the Maxes tab. You're going to have a lot of maxes or a lot of exercises. If you want to see the ones that you've performed, just hit the little eyeball tab at the top, and it's only going to be the ones that you, you've used. Okay. Um, the same thing with your journal. On that bottom right corner, you can put in uh, the bottom right corner of the exercises tab. You can write a journal. You can put journal entries in. Um, depending on what your device is, you can actually take a picture or a video and add it and send it to and add it to your journal and then I can look at it if I need to. Um, I did this already. This is me doing swings in my basement. But again, we, we have these options. So if you want me to check the form on something, we can go ahead and, and, and do that. Um, and I'll I'll send a send another video on exactly how to do that. Okay. So hopefully this helps. Um, again, if anyone needs me, you, know, you can contact me via Team Builder. You all have my email address. Feel free to contact me through that. But um, you know, hopefully this helps, and we can kind of get up, get up, and get this going. And again, it, it's not going to be perfect. Um, you know, you, you may or may not be able to do things. Everybody has a little bit of different, you know, level abilities. But the important thing is that we're doing something. All right, take care.